Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, hey, my name is Brittany and I talk all things beauty here on my channel. And for today's video, I have got my monthly favorites, fills, and new holy grails. So if you like monthly favorites, then please stick around for today's video. So if you're curious on my eyes now, I'm wearing the new Odin's Eye Flora Story Palette. So that video should be up. If not, it will be up shortly. <laughs> if you want to see how I got this look, it's so, so good. This video will not include eyeshadow palettes. I do a separate video of just ranking the eyeshadow palettes that I tried for this month. So that will be in a different video. So let's get on with these products. I have got some fills. <laughs> I've got some new holy girls and I just have some favorites and some fun products. So let's just jump into it. Um, should I start off with the fills and get that out of the way, you know? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to start off with the one product that I still have currently. Let me make sure. Yeah, everything else I no longer have. Um, but this Milk Makeup, what are you called? The Toasted Sculpt Stick. This retails for like $24, $26. Um, the reason why I picked this up is because I have very fair skin and these are more cool tone. Like it can be, I love the color of it. I do. I love that. Like, are you kidding me? I wish, I wish I loved it. But the reason why I don't is because whenever I apply this, it blends away and it's gone. So there's kind of no point and I just go on and layer and layer and layer. I don't know. Honestly, I much prefer the Tower 28 one, which you'll see that later. But this one was just a miss for me and it's so little and it's a little expensive. So... I love the color. I just wish that the formula didn't blend away so easily, but it's a very easy blendable formula to work with. Um, but it just kind of like, poof, it's gone. <laughs> it doesn't wear throughout the day. It's just kind of like no point in contouring because you can't see, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so this one was a fell. Um, next, the new Physicians Formula Concealer. Uh, that one was a very yellow. I tried to make it work, but it just creased very bad. And like, I didn't even know I had wrinkles over here. And I'm like, no, I don't want to see that. So it was just a fell for me. Is it the worst concealer I've ever tried? No, it's fine. But it did not look good on me, so I would not recommend that one. Next, the Physicians Formula Contour Palette. I'm just like in a contour vibe, you know? I want some gray tones. So initially, whenever I tried this palette, it looked really nice. Like, it looked amazing. And then I tried it the next day. Once again, it looked so good. And then I went out in natural light. I looked like I got punched in the cheek. It was just gray. It looked like a bruise. My family were like, whoa, like they didn't want to say like, what's wrong with your makeup? But they were just like staring at me. <laughs> Anyways, it was an epic fill. That one did not work for me. And also the telescopic mascara. Um, I know a lot of people love that and I had a very unpopular opinion. It was fun. It did lengthen and lift your lashes, but for me, it was so, so clumpy. It transferred. It's a very wet formula. I wish it would work for me because immediate results were seen, but it would clump and throughout the day, like it would flake in my eyes and I have very sensitive eyes. And also I could not even apply that after wearing eyeshadow because it would transfer all over my lids. So it honestly just didn't work for me. Wish it did, but it does like give you instant volume and length. I will say that. I just, I do not like clumpy mascara at like whatsoever. So now that we have got the duds out of the way, let's move on to products that I love. Let's start off with a product that's a holy grail. When I say holy grail, I mean that is something I would repurchase if I ran out of it. Something that I use every single day. You know what I'm saying just a perfect product for me that I love. So let me start off with this Glow Recipe Lip Pop. Um, I have wanted this for so long, but it was a little pricey. This recently went on sale at Sephora. So I picked it up and initially like it's not super hydrating like a lip oil or like the Laneige like lip sleeping, you know, balm things. Um, but normally I have got like very dry lips, especially with pregnancy. Like my lips are always so dry. My lips have never looked better. I keep this on every day, all night. Like, I'm always wearing this. Unless I'm wearing makeup, there's another lipstick I'll show you. But this has really saved my lips. Like, before this, I was just using Aquaphor, which that helps so much. But I'm not saying run out and get it. Because if you like a super, like, 
wet nourishing hydrating lip product this might not be for you but for me it really healed my lips I love it and it just feels nice it smells good so this is a product I did not think I would love <laughs> but I really do. Um, next, since we're talking about lips, this one is from e.l.f. This is the, what are you called? Um, this is the shade No Doubt. This is their newer lipsticks. This is a magnetic closure. I wear this every single day. If I am wearing makeup, I'm wearing it now. I love this so much. It depends on what I wear. It can pull cool tone or neutral. I love it. It's such an amazing formula. It's hydrating. It feels nice. It lasts I'm not going to say all day because it's still a lipstick, you know, but it lasts a very long time. Like this, I've been wearing this for a few hours and I think that it look, still looks really nice and I've already had lunch, I've had snacks, all of that, and I think it lasted really well. The next like holy grail product I wanted to mention, this one is from Tula. It's wet, it's not makeup, but it's skincare. This is, I saw, I tried a sample and I fell in love. It immediately, just the sample lasted me a few days and it cleared my skin up. So I, of course, bought the full size and even my husband loves this. It just like your face feels so clean. It suds up really nice. A lot of facial cleansers, like they don't suds up. This one suds up super well and you just feel clean. So this one, like my skin loves it. What can I say? I think this brand is really nice and I would definitely want to try more from them. Tula and Glow Recipe, Peach and Lily, those brands really work well with my skin. Okay, I have one more Holy Grail product. This is from Danessa Marks. This is the Yummy Skin in the shade Bellini, like the blush balm. Um, I, I was gifted this through a friend and I'm so thankful. I love it. This is my favorite blush in my collection. I love the formula. It dries down like a powder, but it goes on more of like a cream. It blurs. I love it so much. I initially have the shade Rosé and Brunch. I love this one too. I'm wearing it today. Um, but the more orangey shade, that's just like me every single day. So I love this. So now let's just jump into the products that, you know, they weren't epic fails or anything, but they weren't like new holy girls. These are just products that I really enjoy and I've been using all month long. So I want to first start off with the Tower 28, the Sculptino Broad Bronzer. Um, love this so freaking much. I've been using this every single day. It's very, it's not cool tone or warm. It's very neutral and I love it. I'm wearing it today. Um, I adore it. I use it every single day. Whoops. Also like sometimes pat it on my lips because I love the color of it. It's an amazing easy formula and I do have our first impressions up on this but I'm here to say it wears all day long. Even once I powder my face I still look bronze. Like I don't necessarily have to go in with a powder bronzer. I love it and it looks so flattering. Now I was confused because the name of this I think on the website had the like the word matte in there but for me it looks more like a natural finish and it was also described as a natural finish so I'm not too sure but this is not matte. Just wanted to make that clear. I don't understand like why in the name it had matte. Anyways, because I missed that during my first impression. So I just wanted to do like a little update. It's not matte. It's natural. It looks very youthful, glowy, radiant without having shimmer. So really love this bronzer. Another bronzer that I really do enjoy. This is from Makeup by Mario. This is in the shade Light Medium. This is one that's very neutral. It's not warm. It's not cool. It's, I'm also wearing that one today right here. I honestly, I haven't been reaching for many eyeshadow palettes this month. So on those days, I just pop into this in the crease and I call it quits. This bronzer, I think out of all of my powder bronzers, this is my favorite. I really enjoy this formula. Like I said, it lasts all day. It blends very easily. So out of all my powder bronzers, I don't have many. I maybe have like five, but this is by far my favorite. And I kind of want to get the lightest shade because that one's supposed to be more cool tone, but they were sold out. But I really do enjoy this. I know this isn't new, but it's new to me and I really do like it. Uh, this Danessa Myricks Universal Blurring Balm Powder. I love the foundation. This is in the shade Universal. This is fine. Like, I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, I got this for free from Sephora under, like, the offers tab, you know. Um, it's fine, but, like, I could live without it. I prefer the foundation. Another item that I got under the offers tab, I'm telling you, check your tabs on Sephora whenever you check out. This is from NARS. This is the, like, Laguna Little Lip Balm. 
it's fine. I'm glad I have it, but like I'm not going to go out and buy a larger size of this. Um, this foundation from NARS, this isn't new, it's new to me. This is the light reflecting, I got the shade uh, Siberia. I love this so much. It is a full coverage, lightweight, and that's the main thing for me. I want a full coverage foundation, but I don't want to fill it. It covers everything I need it to cover, and it lasts all day long. So, I know everyone loves this foundation, and so do I. For a good reason, it's a very nice, I will say, when I first got this, I felt like an idiot. So, it has a pump. Okay. If you turn it, <laughs> well... How did I do it? It's like I turned it. I don't know, guys. I could not find the pump, and I feel so stupid now. Like, every time I would turn it, like, the pump would be gone. Like this. And I was so frustrated. I was like, a $50 foundation? You can't even give me a pump? And then my sweet friend, I'll link her channel down below. She was like, there's a pump. <laughs> I was like, how do I get to it? Anyways, there's a pump. I know, sorry. Okay, we have got some blushes, bronzers, some more stuff to talk about. I hope you have a snack, get a drink, you know, because I got a lot of products to get there. Um, this is from Physicians Formula. I have two products to mention. This is the Butter Glow Bronzer, and this is the Butter Glow Highlighter. I've used this every single day. I used this up till I got this bronzer, but now I'm reaching for this one. I will say that if you don't like the packaging, like, you have to actually spin it off dip it and then put the lid back on so I don't think everyone would like that packaging because it takes a little bit of extra time but I love these products so freaking much I hope they come out with blushes like maybe not like this large but I love it it's a very natural finish it lasts all day it does not mess up or lift any of your product it works well with powders I actually decluttered my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I gave that to a friend because I love this one so much more. The color just looks very flattering on me as well. So I love those products so much. Uh, two lippies from Tower 28. These are fun. Uh, did I necessarily need them? No. Um, I don't know. I just feel like, I think these are like $16. These are fun. I could live without them. But they're nice to have. They're nourishing. They feel nice. I normally keep these in my purse and just pop them on when needed. Um, I mix these with the e.l.f. too for some more color because these are not, these are pretty sheer. They feel nice. They're not like as hydrating as like a lip oil to that extreme. It just kind of feels like chapstick, you know, like the OG chapstick. That's kind of like the, I don't know, like the nourishing level, but they feel nice. So I'm glad I have it, but I did not need both of them. I will say that. And if I could go back, I would probably skip on it because I have this now that I have been reaching for. So, and I love that one way more than the Tower 28. Tower 28 is fine. Don't get me wrong. It's just for me. I didn't necessarily need it. Let's talk about some blushes that I spent way too much money on. <laughs> These are from Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Matte Beauty Blush Wand. These were a splurge. I definitely have been going through a blush phase. I love these, but I wish I would have just got the pink pop and, and not the peach pop because they're so similar. I'm glad I have both. I've been using them, but ever since I got the Janessa Myricks one, I haven't been reaching for these all that much. I'm wearing this one underneath the Rosé and Brunch. I do like it. Um, I just think that they're very expensive and maybe wait for a sale, but they're worth the splurge to a certain extent. I just say pick one if you're going to go for one of these. This is more orangey. This one's more pinky, but initially they kind of both have a peachy tone to it. Excellent formula though, I will say that. I do like them. It's just the Danessa Myrix. It's such, it's only $25 and I wish I would have skipped at least on one of these, you know, because the price point. Okay, I think that's all of, okay, I got one more makeup product. And then we'll jump into the last three products. So this is from Callie Ray. This isn't new. Um, I've repurchased a little mini. This is my favorite mascara. I do not want to fall in love with a high-end mascara, but I did. I love how this separates my lashes. It gives me length. It gives me volume. It like when it does not transfer all day. And it went, at the end of the day, when you're ready to wash it off, it comes off so easily. So this is just one that... I love, I freaking love this mascara so much. Not saying run out and buy it, but it's a good mascara. I will say that. So these liners from Adept Cosmetics. I'm still salty about the liners, guys, okay? Um, I'm, it is what it is. I don't ever wear these. I've been trying, but I'm just not in love with them. 
they're fine they're pretty some of them look too similar that's kind of my thoughts on it uh no i didn't need them y'all can go watch my mystery box video if you want to hear my thoughts it is what it is i just every time i look at it i'm like mm -hmm. okay <laughs> but they perform fine anyways I have a shampoo to talk about and a facial cleanser, and then that's going to wrap it up. So this is from Glow Recipe. This is an avocado cleanser. I really like this. I like the Tula better if I could only pick one because this cleared my skin up so fast. Um, but this is very nice as well. It suds up. It feels nice. So this is just like a cute little mini I picked up. I'm really glad that I have it. But I still prefer the Tula. But this is also a really nice one to have. Okay, lastly, the con or the shampoo and conditioner. I've been on like a hair care journey. And I'm just so sick of spending so much money on hair care products at Sephora and Ulta. So I got this at Target. This is the Not Your Mother's brand. I really like this stuff. I've been using it. I did not realize that this is for curly hair. <laughs> Let me just start off by saying that I do not have curly hair. I have straight hair, thin hair, fine hair, but it still works for me, but I can't like speak to the curl definition aspect to this. It smells like summer. It smells nice and I like it and it's affordable and it's at Target. So I will repurchase that shampoo. I'm probably going to try out different scents, maybe something for straight thin hair or something like that not for curly hair but I really do enjoy it if you're curious um I think that it's a very nice shampoo and conditioner without breaking the bank anyways I'm looking around me obviously I tried a lot of products this month hopefully I'm not forgetting anything did you have any fills or did you find any new favorites I definitely like this was a good month but also I also had a lot of duds that did not work for me but for the most part I found definitely some new holy grails this month but that's gonna do it for today's video wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing well I hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys